Hello, Unique Device. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's story, I'll be teaching you how to make this braided headband. Yes, the reason for making this tutorial is because I've already posted a video on how to make this particular design. But many questions have been popping up, which is we can't get fiber. What do we use to add volume to our material? What do we do about this? And I said there is need to show you another method of getting this design so you can rock your headgear. Yes. So guys, watch this video. You're going to see how I, what I used to achieve this design, how I covered this headband. For those that said we love headbands but we can't go to church with it. So watch this video and see how I wore this kind of headband. Without taking your time, let's move over to the training and learn this design. So the material I'm holding now is the one we'll be using to form the headband and the length measures 40 inches length by 7 inches width, okay? So the wrong side will be facing me while I take it to my sewing machine and sew down. For those that have watched my video on how to make headband, this story will be a quick one, yes, because it will give you a guide on how to sew your headband. Alright, I'll be doing same thing to the other two pieces. I cut out three pieces of it. Then I'll use my needle. I inserted my needle. I'll use my needle to turn it out. So this is what I added to this material. You understand? I'm done turning everything out. So I used foam. I used foam. You can use your breast pad, yes, or felt. Go to those centenary material. That's what they call what um breast pad is white you can use it but this is what i used here i told many of you you can use foam but many requested a video on how to use foam so that's the reason why i'm doing this video so it will give you a guide on how to do yours this foam is one inch foam we have different inches we have quarter inch we have one and a half inch but this particular one i'm using here is one inch foam so the length of this foam is 14 inches while the width is 1.5 1.5 and I had to cut out three pieces of it. So what I'll be doing next is to inside the foam inside this the inside this fabric. Please watch closely. Don't fold your material like this. Don't stuff in that um the fabric like this. It will cut the foam. Just take it easy. Not to pack the whole material and start dragging everything. It will cut the foam. Oh. So just watch the way I'm doing it right now, gently. If you put small, if you stuff in the foam small, you drag out the fabric. Easy, easy, easy. Don't rush it. If you rush it, your foam will just cut. Yes, just watch the way I'm doing it. Um, guys, please, in case you continue to hear any background noise, please ignore. Ignore. That's from my newborn baby. He was actually recording with me at this moment. <laughs> Oh God, it's well. <laughs> so let's get straight back to the tutorial. So um, continue to stuff in the foam, but gently, and don't rush it so you don't cut it. I know you told your friend you're not okay. Okay, I'm done stuffing everything in, and I'll be taking it to my sewing machine. I'm going to place it on top of each other this way. Take it to my sewing machine and sew this edge. So once I'm done doing that. You form your braid. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I love. I did that off camera. So you sew the edge after forming your braid. Use your needle and thread to tack this edge. The reason why I'm rushing all this is because I already posted a video on this. I have a target. And note the owner of this headband, her head circumference is 22 inches. So this fabric is meant for the design at the back and the length is 35 inches by 8 inches width. 35 by 8 inches width. And this foam I'm holding is half inch foam. Yes, it's half inch. So this particular foam measures 31 inches length by 7 inches width. I'll be placing it 
inside this fabric it will help to add volume to it so i'll be using this to add design to the headband okay so just watch very closely you're going to see how i formed the design Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away So guys, we are through with the design and these pieces I'm holding measures 6 inches width by 6 inches length. Yes, it's 6 by 6 and I'll be folding it up. Just watch the way I wrap it up. I'll be using it to cover that rough part where we joined the braided headband. Okay, just watch the way I'll be closing it up and in fact how I wrapped everything neatly. And guys, if you've watched this level and you've not subscribed yet, please hit the notification bell button after subscribing so you'll be able to be notified whenever I post new videos. And for all subscribers that join me again, it's good to have you guys back. Please, I beg you, if you love this video, like. I really love people liking my videos. It encourages me. Yes. If you have any further questions, don't fail to ask questions. Remember, it's because of people's questions that I had to work on this video. So please don't hesitate to ask your questions. Just feel free, okay? So our headband is ready. Over to the design for covering the headband. This piece is what we'll be using to cover it, to cover the headband and the length measures 11 inches by 11 inches width. 11 length, 11 width. So I'll be folding it this way and I'll cut with my scissors. Just watch the way I'll be 
doing the curve form. Oh, I didn't know my curve, my camera was off when I formed this, but I'll still show you how I did so. I folded it like this, used my measuring tape. I had to measure 5.5 and I mark it round 5.5 inches. So that was how I cut it out with my scissors and it gave me that round shape. So I had to place it on top of my lining because I had to turn it out. So exactly the way I did this, I had to pin it down to my lining. You can see it. Without doing the pin down, I cut out with my scissors as well. So I took it to my sewing machine. I still ran. I left this small part for turning up. So why sewing does give an allowance where you can turn it out. I'm using my scissors to cut this small, small part so the stuff will not be up when I turn it out. So after turning the whole thing out, if you have iron, yes, you can iron it out too. It's allowed. But for me, I didn't do so. This edge that is open, I took it to my sewing machine and I closed it up. So this is the outcome. Hmm, if you are not liking this video, you are doing me bad. Please just like, okay? Like, yes, like, subscribe. Thank you. Alright, what I'm holding is pin. I don't know what it's called. I bought it from people that sell tailoring materials. Um, they said they have the plastic one. This one I'm holding is the plastic one, the rubber one. And this is the metal one. All saves. Actually, I couldn't get two of this and two of the other one. So I had to get it this way and use it. Alright, so I'll be showing you how to attach this to the headband. I first of all attached my pin there. You can see that pin. That pin will help me note where I started the measurement. So I used my measuring tape to measure the head circumference of this headband. I did it round till I got to that starting point. And when I got to that end point, I got 23 inches. Yes, the measurement was 23 inches. So what I did was I divided it by 9. I'm trying to locate the top part of my design. So this part is where we'll be on top. So I placed it like this and I divided 23 by 9. I got 2.6. So what I wa what I did was I used my chalk and I started marking out two point six round. It's not a must you do nine reasons because I didn't want the pin to be so much. You can use twelve or depends on you. What you just do is measure the head circumference, divide with number of pins you want to use. But I just felt like using nine. Mm. It was okay for me. So I marked two point six round this base. Okay. I'll be showing you how to attach it right now. This particular pin, I used it for the top base. Why this for the headband? Don't know if you understand. This particular one for the flat base. So I just took this pin and placed on top of this particular one. So what I'm showing you is so you know the pin that will be going for the bed, for the bed, for the braided headband and the one that will be going for the covering. Okay. So, um, next thing I'll be doing now is to do the tacking with my needle and thread. Please, watch closely. I didn't use same format to do the tacking. That's why I say you should watch closely. Alright, for the headband, please don't take this pin to the middle of this headband this way. Don't go attack at the center. Just take it to the edge. You know that place you want the design to be on top, right? You place it here. Mind you, the way I tacked for the top base is not the way I tacked for the braided headband. So watch the way I'm doing it. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. 
Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control, and the steps you take them. I try to pick. I've tucked everything to this, so if you count it, it's nine pieces. Yes. So for the top part, there are, there are two ways of getting it. You measure it round the way I'm doing. I'm going to take your tape and measure round this way. After measuring it down to that point, you still divide by nine inches. Remember, this pin is nine. So whatever you get on that base, you are going to divide by nine. Or randomly place your pin, those black pins. You are going to place it, space it out. Remember, it will be nine pieces. Then use your office pin to hold it down and tack. You can see the way I did mine. Okay. So after doing it, this is the outcome. Voila. You can see it. Everything is ready, ready to rock. So I'll be placing the the covering on top of this headband. I'll be showing you how to pin everything down. So, ladies and gentlemen, my subscribers, my viewers, if you have not liked this video, I beg, please like, mm -hmm. like. If you have not subscribed and you are new here, what are you waiting for? My sister, and my brother, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, okay? Don't fail to hit that notification bell button in order to get notified whenever I post new videos. Yes. Also, if you have question, my sister, nobody will kill you. Ask. By God's grace, I will attend to all your questions. Please follow me on my Facebook and on my Instagram at Unique Creativity. You can see many videos or many pictures I do post there. If you like any of them, you want to learn, don't hesitate to shut me up. Don't hesitate to send message to me on Instagram. I will definitely reply. Yes, on Facebook, I attend to you all. So guys, see you next time. Love you. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, y'all. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing.